Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q4 of the weekly contest 281. Uh, count away pairs divisible by K. Um, so this one was way tricky for me. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. Join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. And uh, especially for this farm, I took about 40 minutes. Um, uh, yeah, so how many excuses do I have, right? Uh, come to Discord. Uh, Josh is in there. There are a lot of smart people in there. Uh, Core is there. Uh, none of these things uh, mean anything to you. If not, uh, what I mean is that these are people who did very well in this contest, and you could learn from them as well. So it's not just me. Uh, but yeah, so I'm here in Cartagena. I'm a little bit um, just not feeling hundred percent. So and just been partying too much from not from anything like bad. Um, so yeah. Um, so the my one number one issue with this poem is that to be honest, I think I just messed up the math. Um, I if you watch the the live self next, um, I actually mostly have the thing. I think I I just did the math well, or I I did the not the math math, but the complex analysis as well. Like I knew how I want to do it, I knew how to do it, but um, instead of um, because because this is one of those problems where. Um, there are a couple of things you can do, right? And some of them will be wrong. Um, and I did this problem at about 3 a.m. in the morning, which is probably already too late for my bedtime. But what I did was that, I, I, I don't know, I made a lot of silly mistakes. But what I did was I looked at the number of maximum factors, and I thought that, and, and I did the very naive thing of multiplying the worst case, right? So, the worst case in that case would be like say 128 times n, which I thought may be too slow. Um, but also to be frankly, I actually did the math incorrectly in another way. I actually thought um, each number can have maybe say 10 prime factors. So, and each uh, and I thought maybe you can do some weird math where uh, if you know you do some inclusion exclusion type thing, you have two to the 10. Uh, power set uh, possibilities for each number and then it becomes a thousand right well a thousand times 10 to the fifth is probably a little bit too slow so that's why I didn't really explore it but then after a, a while I was just like okay maybe my math is one that I thought okay I should actually look up what the factor uh, max uh, or what number has the most number of divisors right and then once I honestly just googled it once I googled it I was like oh that makes sense, and then I actually even added a. Oh, I may have took it out, but but you could just uh, yeah, I looked it up afterwards anyway. But basically, the the key component for this problem is just by using um, the surf, right? The surf. Uh, let me uh, uh, make sure I get the the name right. Okay, uh, Aristoteles. I feel like I will say this one. But that's basically the idea behind this. And even though this looks like um, an m square loop, this actually only once in m log m time or something like that. Um, maybe a little bit less even, or maybe a little bit, more. yeah. So, so this is kind of magic. You have to look at the, um, the proof and the derivation. I'm not gonna do that here because that's beyond the scope and that's just like, you know, that it's, it's interesting. So I, I, I if you don't understand it, um, that's fine. And for me, it's a little bit like a trivia, because um, I can't explain in the part, but it's just a lot of math, right? Uh, but anyway, TLDR, um, the SIF is n log n, and this is n log n. Um, and then here, then, then the rest of the loop is just straightforward to look up, right? For each number, you look at uh, to see where the other number is. I'll explain this in a second. But the, uh, the complexity that I was having struggle with and I just implemented in a YOLO way was just to look at, to update each factor, right? So in this way, this will allow me to look at, for example, um, I actually had an example earlier, but if you had a four, if you have a lot of numbers, um, you want to basically uh, make sure that the complement of that number can be found, right? And yeah. And the question that you may ask is, where does the GCD come from? So GCD is actually, I mean, there are multiple ways of doing this, and you could write your own um, in, a, in, a, in another interpretation. 
Um, but I thought about it a little bit. I'm like, oh, that's just GCD. But then it took me a little bit of time. But the idea here is that um, let's say K is equal to um, let's say it's twenty, right? So twenty that's just two times two times five, and then X can be any number, right? Like it could be let's say sixty um, six, right? So sixty six is just two times three times eleven, right? So what this GCD does is that it gets rid of the stuff that you don't care about because basically um, you want two numbers you want two numbers that um, together will have at least two twos and one five right so that's basically the idea um, here and and it doesn't matter how many threes or elevens you have in your prime factorization right it doesn't help so basically you could effectively get rid of them just like that bang 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 right um, because that didn't count so that's basically what the GCD does. GCD just allows you to focus on the stuff that overlaps with this. And then here, um, this bit uh, basically is go, okay. So now you have this component here, that's the GCD. So now you have to find the other component. And that's basically what the lookup does. And that's basically why this formula works. Um, and of course, uh, updating all the divisor means that, um, for example, if you had, uh, let's say you have a number named 40, right? Um, well, this two, uh, two times four, uh, two times forty is going to be divided by divisible by twenty, um, because forty has what two times, two times two times five something like that. Um, but you you wouldn't know to look up uh you know you know this contains a ten obviously because it's four times ten. Uh, even though this contains a 10, if you just look up the 10, you don't do it, right? So then here, you need to look up all the divisors of te uh, 40, which is, eh, I don't, I may miss some because I'm just doing it off my head, right? So 2, 4, 8, uh, and then, well, 5, I suppose, actually. Uh, and then 10, uh, 20, uh, and then 40, maybe. I'm, maybe I'm missing one, but you get the idea anyway, right? Then here, if we update all of these, saying that, okay, there's at least one 110, so that it allows this lookup to be easier. That's basically the idea, um, because then now you know that the 10 exists, and then you just do the count, and if you do the count, then you have a pair. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have uh, for this one. Like I said, this is m log m, and this is n times max factor. Let me just write it out here. Technically, it's 10 times max factor uh, from 1 to, to da, da, da. and I, I looked it up and if you watched the video I actually did a you know because I already have this so I actually did a follow up to see what's the max and it was 128 in the denied range so technically this could be n times 128 which is maybe a little bit slow but remember that the distribution is uneven so so you generally have way fewer uh, factors um, yeah and in terms of space, um, I guess in this case, technically it's the same space, right? Because, well, or 100,000 times uh, max factor of 100,000 because they can only be, uh, for each space, then you have, you know, all the number of factors. Um, so, yeah. Um, so it's 100,000 times 100 and 28. So it was that 12 million or something. So that's pretty okay. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one, though. Uh, hopefully, the visualization makes sense. I, I think uh, in my Discord, I get a lot of questions about the, the, the GCD. Hopefully, this makes sense. Um, yeah. Anyway, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health, and I'll see you. Oh, wait, no. You could watch me sub live next, but watch it uh, maybe on a faster speed so that or skip ahead so you kind of see. Because I really did spend too much time uh, being wrong about the worst case analysis and that's why it took so long um, should have a load more maybe or just do more, a better analysis I don't know anyway gotta go but uh, okay so that's good I should have done it that way then I spent a lot of time on that one because I was trying to be a little bit more clever uh, but that one would have worked that's a little bit uh, sad actually did people finish already oh, people already finished uh, I took 17 minutes on this one which is apparently very slow uh, let's see if I can finish this one very quickly. Charge finish in four minutes. So, uh, how, wow, thirteen minutes on that one. Oh uh, yeah, because I try to do it too quickly. 
the naive solution was pretty obvious actually. Uh, okay, so let's actually read this form. N and K number pairs such that. Hmm, what does this mean? So I is J N number. So okay, okay. <coughs> um, let's see. What does that mean? K. So one times two is equal to okay. Hmm. Huh. How do I do this? So three would have the two. Four will have any number really. Five. Hmm. Man, wow, people are really fast on this one, huh? I mean, I feel like I'm way close to it because uh, that's how these things work, but and I'm not surprised. If you're, but... Hmm. <coughs> how do I think about this? In a way that works, right? So K is equal to two. Can we sort? No, I mean sort is fine, but okay, I think I know. Maybe. Hmm. Well one we need the two to divide by two. So yeah. Hmm, that's not a good way of explaining it though. Two divides every range, so that's five, whatever. Uh four, same thing. So we do a prime factorization of k, which will have whatever. And then for each number, we look up the number of count that has at least the other ones. But is that easy to do for 10 to the fifth, five numbers? I mean, I guess we just do the sif, right? Because it's only 10 to the fifth. And then you just get like a n log n type thing. Eh, that's annoying though, but I guess people are very smart about this. Uh, wow. Wow. People are very fast actually. Hmm. Is that really the way? It seems a little complicated to be honest, but I could be wrong clearly. Uh, hmm. <coughs> okay, for example, we have three. Well, I see. We need two twos, right? Well, numbers have at least two, or well, one two in this case. And then you have to get all the other numbers as well, right? So that's a little bit awkward, maybe. Like for example, four, um, we already have enough twos. So that means that any other number will work. Uh, how do I say that? Five, for example, how do you? Uh, so th we, of course, k right, k right now here for two and five is prime, <coughs> but Let's say k is 10, right? k is 10, then you have 2 times 5 as k. Um, then you have... How do you separate them out? Because you have like a 4, so 4 would still need a 5. Um... Let me just play around with it then. <coughs> oh, jeez.
Yeah, because 10 to the fifth probably only has like 10 fact, prime factors or something like that. So you could do it for each number and then you could do a lookup and then you could do a bit mask. That doesn't, that seems too crazy, right? What's 10 to the fifth? 10 to the fifth is 2 to the 16 or something. Uh, 2 to the 10, 2 to the 20, no, so, yeah, 2 to the 16, somewhere over here, yeah. 2 to the 15 is 32,000, so 16, 17, 17 factors in, or 17 uh, total things, and then, Three times five, two times. Can we do it in a smart way? How it was so fast? Wow, two minutes. Jeez, I spent two minutes to read the poem. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Three with four into the one, okay. But I see you have a three. How do you get like the complement of everything, including like almost like a suffix? Uh, think about this. A lot of people got this though, so it doesn't seem intractable. I think I just. Uh, Try to think about someone like K is equal to 20. You go to 2 times 2 times 5. So if you have 1, 2, you have to match the other 2 times 5. How do I look, do that look up in an easy way? Because then you can, you don't want for each number to map up all the possible ones, right? Because then now you have basically two to seven for each one, which is a little bit crazy. <coughs> um, let's see. Two times two times five. Uh, you have a 2, you want to look up a 10, that's fine. But what if you have a 2 and you want to match the 20, right? Yeah, of course, K is equal to 20. Then you just feel like our luck. I feel like this is a SIF problem, but I'm, I'm not seeing it clearly. Uh, Intuitively, it should be a surf, but maybe I'm just not seeing it quite well. Uh, four is two by two. <laughs> hmm. Well. Let's say K is your 20, right? Then on the surf, you look up what exactly? Hmm. What happens when K is not prime? <clears throat> Is there a simpler dumb way that I'm not thinking of? For example, five, how does I look up K? Well, in this case, it's just all the, ye or the ones that have twos. Right, and you have a four, and you have a two, and you need to take a 10. Right, who has at least 10? Well, any number like 10, 20, 30, 40. But then how do you Check all of those. Uh, 
Uh. Why is this a discuss link during the uh, during the virtual contest? That's a little awkward, actually. Hmm. Can I do any sorting? No. I mean, because you can have a uh, solution that's just... Um, like five, like four, five, and then K is you go to 20. Wait, so that doesn't, what does that tell me? Uh, maybe I'm gonna die. November sixth. I'm mean, just. Hmm. Hmm. I have no idea. So let's say I have a self, right? K. We know th this is zero to two times zero times five. Over four. Well, I mean, we we just know it's two times two, but where do we get the five? Well, then we can say there's a one number on. I guess we can just go up to three on the, on the on the surf. All right, and then what 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 does seven twenty look like? Um, well, twenty would have one two. And the five would look up. Uh, I don't know. <coughs> I know how to do this conceptually, but could I, wow. I don't, mm, am I missing some obvious map? A lot of people solve this actually, even doing, I mean, I'm not supposed to know this, but I just know this now, but, um, hmm. It feels like a SIF problem. So four, let's say, and let's say we sifted, right? What happens? Well, we're at four. We will look up a number of things that has a five. Okay, I think maybe that's how I needed to do it, but I wasn't sure. Um, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, I forget how to do it. Uh, I'm way out of shape. Hmm, maybe I don't need this actually. Uh, let's see. What is the one with the... Uh, I always... Uh, I feel like I'm just a little bit out of practice with the serve. But there's one where you get the parent or something, right? So... Yeah, okay, let's try that. I don't know if it's needed, but um, uh, 
Oh, this is like the parent, maybe. I don't know if this is good. Uh, uh, whatever. Uh. <coughs> Okay. Is that right? No, that is wrong, right? Am I doing this too, Billy? What am I thinking of? Oh. So zero one two two S is self three two five this doesn't tell me anything does it? Mm -hmm. Um I guess that's technically more correct, but okay. Uh let's add it. I'm I'm kind of exploring some uh, prime number stuff off my head, so it may be a little bit tricky. Um, but let's say this is so one two three four five six. Why is um, is that good enough though? If I have a three, I'm looking for a two. How do I look for it without double counting? Huh. Let's see. Right, like, eh, what am I doing? Four. <coughs> I don't know. How do I do the lookup in a quicker way? How do I do the lookup in a quicker way? Almost like. <coughs> excuse me. Almost like I want some kind of prefix sum, but on multiple dimensions almost. Like, what, what, what numbers have at least this and that and that, right? But you can't do it in a quicker way. Can I? Hmm. Without getting all the possible sub thingies. Uh, and we don't have enough time to factorize everything, do we? Or like get all the possible factors, which is square root of yeah, okay. Hundred thousand square root of each one would be pretty not great. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we could get to prime factorization, but then with that part, like, I know how to do. But then the question is, how do you do it? Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> That's basically what we're doing, right? But, Uh, what do we do once we have all the factors? Do we really just... Um... I don't know. Uh... I mean, this is how we do the factorization, but how do we break this down to a, to get the complement? Five meets one. Uh, like, what, you, what if you have two, a number of two twos? I don't know how to do this. Uh, well, and a lot of people got it at this point. Wow, very quickly too. I'm just missing something. Something. Is that? This is. How much time do I have left? I don't even know anymore. It's been half an hour on this one. I'm still not getting anywhere. Sorry, friends. Uh. Hmm. I mean, okay, so we do have one. We could prime factorization the numbers, uh, but I still don't know how to. Like, let's say we have all the prime factors, right, for a number. What do we do with it? Uh, well... Like, how do you mark it off in a way that's like a prefix sum, right? Like, inclusive down type thing. Uh... Like if you have, if you have two two twos, how do you mark it off so that it answer queries that only need one two, for example? Right. Uh, I think that's the problem that I'm just having issues with, and it may be that it is not that bad, and I'm just. Uh, Maybe that I'm not just bad and I'm just misanalyzing the situation a bit. Um, 
Okay. Most factors under it. <clears throat> eight forty has thirty two factors, so we definitely need to be better about it then uh I don't know how to do this uh it's too late for me to do number theory maybe hmm. This isn't number theory though, I feel like I already got that part. What I need to do is try to figure out how to a uh, answer a query in a good way. Almost like a constraint type thing. Like, okay. Like an, some n-dimensional dim search or something. Um... I guess KD tree would do it, but that that part is not the answer they're looking for. <coughs> Why? Oh, hmm, hmm. And I think the the part that I'm a little stunned about is that everyone got it very quickly. It's not even like like a lot of people got this quickly. I'm not even close. Uh, which is kind of sad. Hmm. Unless I'm missing, so I understand I'm missing my calculation on something. Because, okay. Let's see, 4, right? And k is equal to 10. You'd still need to look for a 5. All numbers of at least 1, 5. How do you answer that lookup? Uh, would you just test all those numbers? No, that would still be n square. We're very sloppy about it, I think. I guess for each factor, you could do a binary search and then do a set in the section. Is that way really weird? Uh, I don't know. Is it? Yeah, because these could be very big sets. So if you keep doing set in the section, that would not be great. I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do the actual finding part. Hmm. Oops. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I still don't know this one. But a lot of people got it. Hmm.
trying to think about mm, maybe hmm yeah I don't know maybe I just don't know this one um which is kind of would be very sad mm. Like how how do you do the the matching in uh mm -hmm. Uh, I don't really have any ideas. That's the problem with these problems sometimes is that when you don't have ideas, you don't have ideas. Uh, and I don't know if it's a knowledge thing, but... Hmm. I don't know that I know this one, but apparently a lot of people know how to do it. Uh, which I'm surprised about. And I am passing out as well, which is also really sad. But... Hmm. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah. Well, that did nothing. Well, it's because of this thing, but. Okay, so we are now have all the okay. Maybe that's a little bit better. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should have done it this this way. But then basically, this gets all the uh, factors. Uh, let's try a bigger number. Well, the biggest number, I suppose. <coughs> huh? I didn't think that would be that fast. To get uh so okay so now we have the factorization of all of them it takes eh, not that f fast either but uh maybe maybe that's just on the printing eh, still not fast we'll see if that's just fast enough uh okay and then uh, maybe i do know uh, so basically uh, the factors that we care about, that's with K. Uh, yeah, that's just GCD, right? And then the inverse of that would be... Uh... Oh. Mm -hmm. Right, and then we uh, okay. This is mm. what am I doing? So basically, what we want is. Okay. Uh, and then, hmm. Hmm. I guess we just look at all the f factors. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see, so this is now times, uh, some GCD of, okay, so is this, uh, it's too late. Right, so then now uh, this part is equal to uh, someone like this, maybe. Yeah, and then for why and I call it parents, but I guess it's a F factors. This, mm -hmm. I mean, this is going to be, well, I was going to say this is going to be right, but maybe it's not. Uh, but it should be close. It's just that... Um, 
you know, it's about the edge cases, I suppose. Uh, oh, this is not X, this is factors of now, yes. Well, I guess technically both is fine, but this would be slower. Um, or the other way would be slower. Huh, how are they going? Oh, well, they should have a, I mean, it shouldn't have three as the answer. It should at least have seven or maybe even more. Uh, let's see, why is that? <coughs> let's see, for example, if you have four or five. No, let's try this. Four, five, twenty. Okay, so that's right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. I'm actually kind of passing out. Uh, I've been drinking too much. This is not a great idea, and I have to wake up uh, really early. Oh, snaps. Um, okay, let's think, Larry. What, what, what did it go wrong? Uh, um, hmm. Get rid of this number for a sec. Okay, so zero, one, two. Oh, I don't have a one. Okay, that was a silly mistake. Is that fast enough now, though? Mm -hmm. Don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty quick. Ish. I don't know. This Sif comic, uh, maybe I'm just one to Sif as well. Oh my god. Um, the problem is that I don't, I'm not convinced that this is, because um, these factors, uh, I guess I should have done the math on that number of factors that are max on 100,000. Because I think I, um, I think we were talking about it, and then I think maybe I just hand waved a little bit. Um, but let's see. I think I just did the math stupidly actually. I mean I had most of this, I just you know variation of this but uh one twenty eight. Mm -hmm. I guess that could have been fast enough if I knew um that because I I thought doing all the factors would be too slow. Um actually that was kinda dumb. Now that I think about it, because I was thinking about um, unique factors, and if I had unique factors, then then I thought you have to do some like two to the x factor type thing, um, but I don't know. I yeah, I think mean, this one's a little bit. Uh, I don't know. I'm just really bad at it because it's three a.m. and I needed to do math on that one. Uh, so yeah, so this is kind of a, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord, let me know what you think, today's bombs a little bit rough, cause I'm still in Cartagena, so, and been partying a little bit hard, anyway, uh, I'll see you later, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health, have a good night, bye bye.